Hello everybody and welcome to my 53rd VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the mouse over event in your user form. It's then also going to go on to explain how you would use other events in the same way that we've done in our workbook or our worksheets before. So here I've got a user form already made with a text box and then it's just going to have this prompt down here that's going to let when you hover over it this prompt's going to show so at the moment when we press play on this i've set that to invisible so you can't actually see it to do that i've just changed the property of it on the visible to false i'm also just going to name this and i'm going to call it a uh, tool tip label So in order to add an event, just double click on the object you want to add, event, add an event to. And then you have to have got your event, your object that you're going to hover over, selected on the left. And then we want to go to the mouse move section. Delete your change one. And then in here, we can put whatever code we want to run whenever the mouse moves over that object. Uh, so if we go user form one dot tool tip label dot visible equals true. And then that's all we're going to do. We're just going to put that one line of code in. So now when we press play, whenever we hover over that, it's going to come up with a username. Let me just show you that again. So at the moment it's not there and then as soon as you hover over it ends up what we actually want this one to do in particular is when we come off of it it goes away again so in order to do that let's just go into our user form code make sure we're on the user form drop down on the left mouse move again and delete the click uh, and then we just do the opposite that we did before so user form one dot tooltip label dot visible equals false and let's press play on this and so now when we hover over it it comes up with the username and then when we go back down off it it's, it's coming off again and as we go up and down so this can be really useful you could do quite a lot with this so you can have a button that where you hover over it it brings up a little calendar um, you can have it so that it gives you text or warnings um, anything you want really and off the back of this uh, there's a tutorial I uploaded before on events uh, that I'll put a, a link to and uh, you can similarly as you can with the worksheets you can put any of the events that you've got in this top right bit onto your user form so whenever anything happens whatever you've got on here will run and run some code for you so um if you haven't watched the events one go back and i think it's about tutorial 43 or something so i'll put a link to it though so that's going to be it for this tutorial and it's also going to be it for user forms and uh, the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to use command buttons thanks for listening and i hope to catch you soon